welcome, 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 welcome. You and I are tuning in with Eyes on Podium Podcast, and we are back to talk about the NBA and all that within between. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Henny is clearly in his uh, closet. He's having fun. Um, Chris isn't here. Henny fired him He's last fired. week. Yeah, for the I've never seen somebody fire and come back as as much as he does. Mm. But he's fired for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about, but we're gonna take this off season pretty piece by piece. We're super excited to be back making videos and content, which will be definitely more consistent. Uh, we definitely needed this break. A couple weddings. Definitely. Uh couple of people moving a lot of vacation you know what i mean like i said henny's still drinking his uh his cocktail you know what i mean he's doing his thing he's he's this actually carrot and ginger he's actually like in another country right now where where are you where are you where are you uh uh, uh live from right now henny where are you live from jersey <laughs> <laughs> Which, ladies and gentlemen, if you know anything about anything, that is in whole nother country. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, we are gonna tap in now. <clears throat> Definitely gonna break down the New York Knicks' off season, and you know yeah, our next. We're gonna start with that. Yeah, and then we're gonna be breaking down a bunch of other teams going into yeah. the beginning. Actually, we are gonna. We're gonna stream thirty days straight on mm-hmm. each team, yeah, until the start of the season. Mm-hmm. We we have a uh, we have some we have some guests that's coming up. Yep. who's gonna help us with that. Yeah, and we're gonna be better for you guys. So you know you know my motto: start my intro. Shout out to Kishui. I'm gonna tell you this right now.
Yep, that's on your end. Yeah. Let's see. I'm hearing that they can't hear us. Can you hear us now? Can you hear us now? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It's good to go. I you good to it. go? Yeah. All right. So um, let me start all over. So you got to start all over. So what I asked you was, <laughs> uh, what were the things okay. in this next off season that made you excited? Oh, I can speak for all Knicks fans when I said that the the Knicks have completed the Villanova Infinity Stone gauntlet. They mm-hmm. have they have they have the, all the rings. They have all the stones. Sorry, they have all the stones. Um, they have Mikel. They have DiVincenzo. They have J- Josh Hart. They have Jalen Brunson. They have everyone that mostly the important pieces that were in that championship squad. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the Knicks are all in on the power of friendship they're gonna do that and and the chemistry chemistry should be on a thousand chemistry definitely should be on a thousand uh during the regular season that's that's mm-hmm. what i'm i'm happy about that's a that's a great move for the knicks and speaking on mikel he's a great two-way player spot up he's able to get you able to win you games when i mean win you games i mean have nights where he's scorching high and can go for 30. Mm-hmm. Um, the most disappointed thing is obvious is Isaiah Hardenstein. We lost him. Um, he was an essential piece in the playoffs, an essential piece when Mitchell went down during during the regular season. Mm-hmm. Um, he improved everywhere from offense to defense. A great screen setter. The numbers say it. Um, him and Jalen Brunson were a great t- tandem. You know, yeah. very hard to deal with. Yeah. Um. We Knicks just didn't have the money to pay it. Well, we had Knicks had the money. We had money to give them. It's just I believe they offered him like twelve, fifteen, something. No, like they that. offer him the, as much as they can give him. Um, he yeah, just, wasn't it like twelve, fifteen, uh, sixteen. They they offer him so. they, they offer him four for seventy two. He just took essentially. Yeah, yeah he took more. Took and more, yeah. look, he for less earned time. it. He, for less time. He he earned he earned that money. And it's a business. At the end of the day, it's a business. As an fan, I'm sad. I'm sad to see him go. You know, I really, really wish he 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 bought in. But you know, thirty thirty million is is more than sixteen. So it is what it is. What about you? Um, I would have to say the most exciting thing that happened for the Knicks this off season will be Mikel Bridges as well. But I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. Jalen Brunson taking a pay cut. The Jalen Brunson t- pay mm-hmm. cut, one hundred thirteen million pay cut. Um, yeah. Signing this year, I mean, essentially he signed for what he, the most he could sign for this year. Um, yeah. But it's going to help the Knicks moving forward to get an impactful player. Um, if you look at this off season, there's some impactful players that are playing on minimums right now. Tyus Jones in Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Um, Gary Trent and uh Milwaukee, they both signed for minimums. If you look at um Valentunes, he's getting paid ten million in, in uh with with Washington. There's there's quality players that aren't getting paid as much as they would have in the previous um in the previous previous seasons. Yeah. Do they need another big? Um Shaquille just asked. In the chat, do the Knicks need another big? I don't think they need another big. Precious Achua is just got re-signed. They just fully guaranteed Jericho Sims. I am a Jericho Sims right. believer. Do I need a center like Joel and B? No, we do not. Do I need a scoring shooting center? I don't believe so. Do I need a center that's going to be a great defender and a rebounder and a rim roller and a screener? I believe that's what works best. When you have right. a player like Mitchell Robinson, who was literally the best offensive rebounder in the NBA by far. Like, mm-hmm. his numbers didn't get... he he His last game that he played, but he got injured in December, no one touched mm-hmm. his offensive rebound numbers until March, April. Right. He was out... Yo, he, by himself, he was out-rebounded... 
by himself, he was out rebounding teams as a whole in offensive rebounding. Exactly. Like that. That's crazy. That's before he got. That's before he got hurt. Of course. The Knicks had and two then, starting centers. You know. Yeah. Basically. That, essentially. Essentially, um, Hartenstein to me is better because he he can do uh he can do things on on the on offense that Mitch can only dream about doing. Um, <laughs> and you know. With the coaching of Tom Thibodeau, I feel like he's like the big man whisperer. Precious Achua yeah. came over here and was mm-hmm. balling, and the opportunities yeah. that he got. So I don't think the Knicks need another big a big man. I think they're fine. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't All think right. they need anything at this moment. They just need to start the season. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> OG and Anobi signing re-signing OG and Anobi was huge. That was yeah, that was the greatest. That was the greatest point. I think he's a OG is is a game changer. Look, I, I I say this first. I was a huge RJ fan, huge RJ fan. I thought I thought he I thought he was going to be great. I thought he he should have turned into what he is doing for the Raptors currently. I thought that's what we we had. But once we got OG, I didn't know what I needed until I got it, and we got a real wing. RJ wasn't the wing that we needed. We didn't need a scoring wing. We needed a, a two way. Lockdown could play could play defense guard one through five. Yeah, essentially because he he was on he was on Embiid in the playoffs. Nah, time. he wasn't just on Embiid, right? We 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 can't just 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 uh gloss over that. Like he played Embiid very well, extremely yes. well. Yes, um, right. they went Correct. to that in the fourth quarter, which I think right. is the reason why they was able to pull away with the win. Because right, so. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they was able to guard him, right? They was able to guard yeah. him, and then when they had Precious Achua out there, they can literally just switch everything to Precious Achua to guard guards as well. Yeah, I I agree. You know, that was the best signing. I don't think I we we talked about it before on this show. Like, how much does he get? Like, what's too much? What's too little? You know, what what is he going to accept? We've seen the rumors. Oh, uh, he wants this this amount. Right. It's like. You have to pay this type of player because everybody wants that type of player—a wing that can just do it all. Right. Th- this this league, you you need you need a wing like that to win. Essentially, look 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 at Boston. Look at the champions. Mm-hmm. They have four four four. They had four of them. Yeah. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, uh, Derek White, and and Drew Holiday. They had four. They had four. So having one that can do do it all is like it's a start. You know. And then picking up um Mikael Bridges. Yeah. Um we have two. You have two. I mean, was it yeah. a lot to give up for Mikael Bridges? Oh yeah, it was a lot. We'll see. Nah. It we'll was see. A lot. It was a lot. We'll see. Regardless of how we want to slice it, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. The only way it's not it's... a lot listen, the only way it's not a lot is if they win a championship this coming up of the season. Then it's not a lot. But it was a lot. Six first round picks, Look, four unprotected, ten years, one pick mm-hmm. swap, ten and years. then another another pick for um uh twenty uh Milwaukee twenty twenty five first round pick. Like that's a lot for anybody. Like for ten it doesn't years. have to be Mikel. It could have been Giannis. It could have been in the AD. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's just my thing. It's not really but, like. But look, I give look. You breaking up? You good? You there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. You Can you hear me? But look what? Ten years down the line when when the picks are then they're playing they're in like their third, fourth season. We'll see we'll see what these players turn out to be because you know they're gonna go back, oh the Knicks gave up this and this is what this was the pick that they took at that time. Right. These these picks are essentially we're we're not we're not gonna be a lottery team. These picks are essentially gonna be gonna be um bottom half, twenty, twenty to thirty, you know? So Tibbs yeah. doesn't even play doesn't even play rookie, so stop saying that. We're we gotta we're stop saying that. There. He don't. But that's not true. We, he that, played he doesn't he, he played OB. He played when he had to. Yeah, when he had to. OB was in the rotation. He, he was in the rotation. Quickly was in the rotation. Grimes was in the rotation. We gotta yeah, stop but, with but, these old when, narratives when he, that he don't play rookies and he don't like. That's not true. He's done it. 
with the Knicks, when, he's when, done it. When 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 Julius Randle was bumming it, when Julius Randle was bumming it, he and he went to the bench. He automatically came back come came back in because it was his time to come back in. And he's o, the best o, player. Obi Obi was Obi was having a great. It's not like Obi was bumming it himself. He was being great on the court. He just huh. does not play him. He just doesn't play him. Yeah, because he wasn't. It's good not enough. a narrative. I've seen it. Yeah, he's not. He wasn't good it. enough he, though. The number. The plus minus on the court, the plus minuses on the court for Obi was good. It was good. When he's on the court, he's a plus. Yes. He's a plus. Playing against second. Certain it was a lot of games. It was a lot of games that, okay. that Tibbs did that. Playing against the second unit, he played okay. Right? He still wasn't a good rebounder. And he still couldn't couldn't guard guards. Right? So he was still a liability on the court. Okay? And he's not giving you twenty points on the other end to make up for it. He's not. Right, so yeah, he minutes. he showed flashes. Yeah, it was cool, but he, the point is, Tibbs played him. He played. He went to Indiana, started, and then went straight to the bench. Right, like so, it's not a Tibbs thing. It's obviously obviously a Obi thing. He wasn't good enough. Like as Knicks fans, we overrate our our draft picks and our players. Yes, understandable, but Obi just wasn't good enough. We thought he was. I was in the. I was a lieutenant in the OB uh, fan club. He just wasn't good enough, and it's fine. But Tibbs played quickly. He played quickly a lot. Quickly is the reason why Austin Rivers got got traded. Don't need him. Mm-hmm. We got quickly. Let's go get Derrick Rose. Mm-hmm. Right. So I feel like Tibbs get a bad rap, rap and he. Oh, congratulations to Tom Thibodeau as well. He just signed an extension. extension. Um, mm-hmm. But during his whole tenure, he's done everything people have been saying that he don't do. You don't play rookies. False. I played my rookies. You don't play young players. False. All my players are young players. Mitch, my whole lineup is young. The whole lineup was young, right? So it's like, okay, cool. Now you play your players too much minutes with nobody else to play. Who you want me to play? Daquan Jeffries? Who you want me to play? DJ Washington? Who you want me to play? Like, Ryan Archie... I can't say his name. Chris is not here. He can say his last name. Yeah, but he need to play. Ryan Archie? <laughs> like, who are we playing? I'm not even going to try. Who are we playing? So, you know, yeah. Hartenstein was a big loss. Um, I think that's the only loss of the season, was Hartenstein. Um... How do they replace him? He's yeah. irreplaceable. How's the office gonna look with? Yeah, you can't. You can't replace him. I, 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 I watch the highlight. I watch these games. I, you know what I mean. And I'm trying to figure out mm-hmm. a way. Does it? Can 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 Julius be that player? That hub? That offensive hub? Um, can Julius make those those passes where he's leading? He's leading the man to the rim. Um, bounce passes. Can mm-hmm. he make the cut passes? I mean, he's going to. He's gonna have to. Mikael Bridges is there. I think, I think it's there. more than that, though. I think it's more than that. Uh, what Hardenstein did. I w- we would want you know we would want Randall Julius Randall to do that, but it's more than that. Like, it's the picks. It's the boxing out. It's the awareness of the mismatches. You know, I his again. He has gotten better. Let me start there. He has gotten better, but it's the it's the it's the shot selection. That's that's part of the 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 IQ of being that hub that you're talking about. You know, mm-hmm. Hardest Hardestine Hardestine had that. Can can Julius figure it out? Maybe, maybe. I, I mean, think he, he he has he has the ability. I would say he has the ability to do what Hardestine does. I think what's but going to be are we going to see it? I think I think what's going to be intriguing to watch is the Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo pairing coming off the bench. Um, mm-hmm. How does that even look, right? Um, if you, mm-hmm. I watched the Bing Bong p- panel um, mm-hmm. with Spike Lee, Ben Stiller, Clyde Frazier, Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, and Kazim was the uh moderator it was awesome it was dope 40 minute calm 40 minutes um and josh hart was like you know i'm not trying i'm not trying to play 48 minutes no more but 29 30 
you know, we can talk. Like, 29-30 is what he wanted yeah. to play. If he's getting 29-30, then he's definitely playing minutes at the four. He would have to be. Um, What is Dante going to be playing? Because Mikel got to get 35, right? So what mm-hmm. is Dante playing? 20? 22? So... So why so why can't why can't just because he's playing the four why can't why can't um, Josh Hart play the one and essentially not not the one but running the offense you know like the he one could. he's in he's in he's he's in you know you have Dante Divincenzo you have what Mikel OG and then uh, Sims or Precious whatever the whatever the game is calling for I like that and then maybe maybe. Maybe Mikel sits, and you put in um, McBride. You know, whenever he, whenever he could get his uh, ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah, so, so that's see, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, so McBride is the is gonna be the odd man out. He's the knife man in the rotation. He's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be the player that's the probably not gonna be playing as much. I mean, no, not necess- not necessarily, but yeah, I guess. I guess. Ten ten to fifteen, sometimes twenty, depending on, you know, foul trouble. Depending you know, situational. But I think I think he will be the ninth man. Yeah. I oh agree. yeah, he's def- definitely ninth man. He's just not gonna be getting mm-hmm. those minutes. So he's gonna I, end up probably I being also think he's used to, I also think he's used to it though. So it's not like it's not like he gives us good minutes. So it's not like it's a bad thing that right. he gets he he gets ten to fifteen. Like right. he gives he gets ten to fifteen and and it ends in a in a in a positive. Right. Like one steal, a two assists, you know, five points. Right. That's solid. That's solid. So I'm 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 fine with that. But then we got DiVincenzo, we got Josh Hart. Um who else is on the bench? Precious. And then we have a big Precious, yeah. So that's that's the four that's the four we're assuming. That's the four. That's going to be in the the six to to nine man. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's Just jump solid. to the season since we're talking about mm-hmm. rotations. Um, the Knicks open the season up against the defending champs, uh, mm-hmm. the Boston Celtics, October twenty second, and then their nice. home opener is going to be against the Pacers, who blew them out in Game 7. Mm-hmm. Um, the game after that is going to be the Cavs, who just got a new head coach. Um, and then it's the Heat. And we know how the Miami Heat and New York Knicks rivalry mm-hmm. runs deep. Um, yeah. Just those four games in itself is tough. The Knicks mm-hmm. have... The Knicks are playing against one, two, three, four, five, six playoff teams, Pacers twice, in the first 10 games. So, what I like to ask you is what do you think the Knicks will go in those 10 games? Okay, so... I have the Knicks being seven and three, the first ten games. So okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through it. First game, Boston. I think we win. Yeah. Simply because, simply because, I think the Boston Celtics will have woes. The the championship woes. They and they also a lot of their they're not gonna have Chris Porzingis, Tatum, Jalen. Um, Drew Holiday and Derek White have been playing basketball this summer, so I'm thinking they're going to be a little basketball fatigued, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, Indiana, Indiana Pacers. Uh, mm. that's we we have their number. We have their number. They blew, we they blew the Knicks out in the game seven, bro. That's fine. We weren't healthy. We lost. We lost everybody. We lost okay. everyone. So I would. I, we shouldn't even been in Game Seven with them. That's Cleveland, true. Cleveland Mitchell is back. That's easy. Miami, they don't play good until the playoffs. Wait, wait, wait. Mitchell's back. That's easy. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Uh, he killed them by by himself. 
killed who by them, on the, the last time Cleveland, the last time we played them in the playoffs, uh-huh. he he destroyed them on the boards. Who's he? I'm not worried about that. Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell oh, Robinson you destroyed that, Cleveland you Cavaliers. Said Mitchell and Cavs. I'm thinking Donovan. You're right. You're right. I'll give you that. <laughs> Mitchell Robinson, Mitchell Robinson. This is what the happens, people, because me and Henny talk on the phone. We talk a lot, so he's just talking to me. So I know what he's saying, but you know, you gotta make sure the people know you're what you're right. talking about. You're right. So you're talking about Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna you're dominate right. Jared Jared Allen and his new contract. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and Evan Mobley and his max deal. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> they got they got their money. Yeah, they did. They get their money, so whatever. And now they just look for a new team, right? So give me easy, easy work. Miami, um, yeah, they don't play good until you know down the line when everything when they when they backs against the wall. So I think we got that. Now Detroit, Detroit, we're gonna come in. We we're gonna lose this one, and I say we're gonna lose this one just because of we just played Miami. That's a rivalry game. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna punch them. Use all our energy for Miami because we know we're playing Detroit. We're gonna end up losing that one. It's just one of those one of those games. Trap games. Just one of those games. Yeah, one of them trap games. That's how that's how I feel. Just looking at the lineup, mm-hmm. the time. It's Friday. You know, they don't play again till Monday. Just ready to get to the weekend. Whatever. Um, Houston, we win because we just, just we we just got trampled by Detroit. <laughs> Keep it up with Atlanta. I. Don't think we beat Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. I think Milwaukee has a lot of a lot on their plate. I think mm-hmm. they 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 want to, they got something to prove. So I don't think we beat Milwaukee this this early. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think Dame is going to come out firing. I think Giannis is going to come out come out firing as well. Right. Indiana, I think we lose at their house, and then Philly, I think we beat them. Yeah, at their house. So the three games, the three games is the Pacers at their house, um, Mm -hmm. Detroit, Detroit, yeah, Milwaukee. Yes. Okay. And then we're gonna end that stretch with seven and three. Okay. Um, I could, I could, I could rock with that. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more eight and two. I, I got eight and two. Um. If the Knicks is who I think they are, then they should definitely be they they should beat the Celtics. If they are who they th- I think they are. If they come into the season mm-hmm. with all their horses. I know Julius mm-hmm. may be playing his way into shape because he's coming yeah. off a shoulder injury, so No, no, no. I think he I think he's in shape. I think you mean game shape. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, cause so, I see, I seen, I see him working. So, yeah, I think he's gonna be. I think his game shape, game rhythm, is because yeah, he's a rhythm yeah, shooter. That's what he's, he's a rhythm yeah. player. So the rhythm is really. I think he's probably gonna be trying to get back. So as Mitchell Robinson, I think he's gonna come into the mm-hmm. come into the season a little bit out of shape, a little bit mm-hmm. heavy. Um, I mm-hmm. could be wrong. Um. But now nah, he's been working. I've been following all all of the explains. The thing of, they, he's, he's they, still not clear, they all right? Have been working. He's still not clear, right? Oh, Julius? Um, not Julius. Um Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell Robinson. Robinson. He's mm-hmm. not clear to play yet, right? Mhm. Right. So, you know, we'll see what happens with his health. Yeah. Um but I got them 8 and 2. If they are who I think they are, if Jalen Brunson is really going to be a, continuously to be a MVP candidate, if he's really a superstar, if Mikel right. Bridges is really a borderline all star, like a Drew Holiday, if is he our Drew Holiday? Mm-hmm. Um, if is is Julius really the sec that secondary engine? Is Mitchell Robinson really the best offensive rebound in the game? Um, is Josh Hart really a, a six man in the year candidate? Is Dante DiVincenzo mm-hmm. really the best one of the best shooters in the NBA? If those things are mm-hmm. true. Um, then I got them beating the Celtics. I got them beating the Pacers. I got them mm-hmm. beating the Cavs. Mm-hmm. I got them losing to Miami. Okay. Right. I got them destroying Why? the Pistons. I got them losing to Miami. Um, 
three they're going three and oh. I think Miami is gonna just scheme a certain kind of way. It's probably gonna be a okay. close game. Um mm-hmm. calls may not go if the ball ball may not bounce, calls may not go a certain direction. You know, a couple of missed open open shots. I feel like it's it's gonna be one of those um nip and tuck games. Mm-hmm. Um the 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 Pistons uh, Knicks don't lose to to teams under five hundred. That just don't happen, right? They mm-hmm. literally they they had an insane record last season. So I yeah, if a, a team a team that's that's historic like like casually cons- consistently under five hundred, I'm I'm going, I'm gonna say they're not gonna they're not gonna they're gonna destroy the, the um Pistons. The Knicks mm-hmm. then play mm-hmm. the Rockets. Uh, which is going to be a tough game in Houston. I think the Knicks lose that game. I think they lose in Miami. I think they lose in in, in Houston. Houston is a great mm-hmm. home game, home team. Um, mm-hmm. so I got and Houston. I give you this too. I give you this too. Like their whole roster is is playing for for contracts too. Sangoon yeah. hasn't got signed yet. Um, Green. Um. And I believe Smith, he might be on Jabari. Be Jabari is next year. The, uh, I think he's next year. Next year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so their main guys haven't. Their main guys haven't haven't. Uh, gotten, I think uh, I think they got an awesome extension. leader. Their leader is their head coach. Sort of to sort of like what the Knicks situation was a couple of years ago. Their yeah. leader was their head coach, and I think yeah. if your leader is the head coach, your team could yeah. it, it's it's starting off ahead of the game. Um. Then they go into build around the Doku. Atlanta, which again, that team mm-hmm. is trying to lose. Um, even though they got Trey Young, you know, star point guard. I just don't believe in them. You think they're trying to lose? It lo- it feels like it, it looks like it. We'll definitely tap into it when we talk about when we break down the Hawks soon. But yeah. I have a lot to say about and the Hawks. 30 day stream. I don't wanna, you know what I mean, jump too far ahead. But yeah, then yeah. the yeah. Bucks. The Bucks play a drop coverage. I don't feel like there's a team in the NBA that can play drop coverage and beat the Knicks. Mm-hmm. Why? Jalen Brunson. Especially Jalen Brunson, especially when he's a, a, a mini magician. He's coming off a screen and there's nobody in front of him. Mm-hmm. Just a big backpedaling. Good night, Irene. So I, I, got a, I got a question. Now that these screens are being set by Julius and Mitchell, are you still confident? 100%. Mitchell set, set great screens. It's really Julius. Julius set these ghost screens all the damn time. Um, it infuriates me, bro. He could be so good. He opens up so much with just one screen. You can open up so much with just a screen. You don't even know. And he sets these brush screens. It's it's infuriating. Yeah, because he just wants it's the ball by himself in the corner. He just wants the, the ball wing. exactly. You can yeah. you can get the mismatch that you want. If you set a good screen, because they're gonna switch on you, a lot of teams switch. All you have to do is set a screen, and now you have a mismatch and play bully ball. But well, he'd rather set a brush screen, try to run, wait for the defender to come to him, and take a step back. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like one step outside uh, outside of the three point line because he want to do the step back three, and then he'd right. be like a little bit wait. too far from the <laughs> from the rim. Waiting for <laughs> waiting for your for your opponent to to close out is. Is really diabolical. It's really <laughs> diabolical, and it's not like he does it once. He, he does. does it all the, the time. Yeah. It's it. And the thing is, this was two years ago. It was horrible. He shot bad this year. This year, before the injury, he shot good. So it's like, what do you do? He would. No, he, I mean, the ball was going in the hoop. Julius, Julius been with the Knicks for how many years? This is going on season five. Yeah, five. Five. Five, yeah. We're going on five with Julius. He's had yeah. two bad seasons. The first season and his third season. No, yeah, this is season. No, he played five seasons. He thinks it's a six. Yeah, so, yeah, it should be a six. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it should be his sixth season. I feel like this is his sixth season with the Knicks. Going into year six. Because I remember his first season was awful, and then it, it got cut short because of COVID. Second season, he was an All NBA player. The third season after that, he was terrible. The fourth season, he was an All NBA player again and an All Star. And then last mm-hmm. year was the fifth season. 
Yeah, he was so gonna he be. Going into he was play. playing well. He started off awful, caught himself, started playing extremely well. Was on pace to be another. He was an all star actually, because um, mm-hmm. he got hurt a couple of days before, a week before the all star game, and then he was going mm-hmm. to be an all NBA player. Yeah. He was. He was gonna be an all NBA player. So, two out of five. I'm not mad at it. The one one out of five, he had a trash a trash coach. Um and in the year that he did play bad, he had Kimber Walker as his and he had Kimber Walker as his uh as his his uh point guard and Fournier as his two guard, which neither one of those players are in the NBA now. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Fournier is. I'm still a Fournier fan. And his starting center was Nerlis Noel, which again Three of those players are not in the NBA anymore, and neither will any of those three players are on the roster. Chris says uh, that the Knicks are gonna start ten and ten and zero. Oh, book it. it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. I'll okay. take it. Okay. I'll take it. I love it. I love it. That's. Funny. I definitely love it. Let me see if we have to cover. Did we cover everything? Oh, the wins loss. The Knicks are 52 and a half. 52 and a half. Um, Lakers, I mean Lakers. The Las, the, the Las Vegas, sorry. Vegas has their odds at two and a half. I mean, 52 and a half wins this season. Okay. Um, are you over and under on fifty two and a half for the next wins this season? I am over fifty two. You're over fifty two. Yeah, I'm over fifty two. What do you think they might end up at? Fifty five. Yeah. I think that's a I wanna say I wanna say sixty because like you said, if they are who they say they are it should be a 60, 60, 60, 62 win season because we're a tier one team. But I, I'm i going to go – my gut is telling me 55 because mm-hmm. uh, just uh, just because it's the first year of being good. I don't know how to – I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act because this is like – like the, the feeling, the energy in New York is just – it's just different. Like we sucked in the – and, and – and New York was on fire because we just be winning. We will win a game in a crazy way. New York be on fire. But now that we're good, we're competitive. We're a tier one team. Mm-hmm. It's it's just it's just it's just different. It's just different. I I, I think I think we're we're that's definitely over fifty two wins. I think we're going to be at fifty five sixty. But my my bet is fifty five. I yeah. say fifty five and and we'll be a one two seed. I'm definitely taking the over on that. Um, I think. I'm in between 57 and 58. Um, I'm going to go with 57. I'll go with 57. Okay. Um, but I, 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 is 57 enough to be a one seed? I think so. Yeah. 50, yeah. It could be. Dep- and everyone's getting better. You, you know how that goes. Last uh, year, the, the Boston Celtics teams. was... 50 I mean 64 the year before the Bucks were 58 and they were number one mm-hmm. the year before that the Heat was 53 and they were number one mm-hmm. uh year before that the 76 was 49 and they were number one um I feel like they can get to 58 57 yeah I, I really think they can um only really because the Pistons, the Washington Wizards, Hornets, um, the Nets, the Hawks, and the Bulls, that is one, two, three, four, five teams that are trying to lose. Six teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mm-hmm. teams in the Eastern Conference that are trying to lose. So because of that, and I, like I said, the Knicks do not lose under against teams that are under 500. They just don't. They smoke them. That's that's a walk in the park. So I'm I'm gonna. That's why I got 58 because they're gonna take advantage of all those play all those teams. They play them four yeah, times. Yeah. They play the, the Pistons four times, the Wizards four times, the Hornets four times, the Nets four times. A week. 
You got and you got to win these. Those are those are the games that you have to win too. Those that's, are the games that's you the have to win. Thing. That's the important. You have to go four and zero. You have to go. You have to. You have to. Have to. You have to. You could. You could go fifty fifty with these uh top top tier teams, but Correct. you have to go four and zero against teams like that. Exactly. Because it's just a must. No, no, none of those, none of those trap games. It's just a must. It's just a must. You have to. So that's why that's that's why I got if you want to if you want to win if you want to run if you want to win a ring, you have to you have to beat the trap games. You have to come with it. I'm right with you. That's it. I'm right with you 100. percent So that was our New York Knicks debrief off season. Yep. HB and Henny. Eyes on podium podcast. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chop this up. So if you if you miss this. It's okay. We will be putting this out on YouTube in different segments yeah. so you guys could just, you know, enjoy as you go along. Right. You got um, anything to say we'll to the people, honey? Tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with another uh, off-season debunk. We're going 30 days debunk. straight. Debrief. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That was a your podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. We out here. She don't even know me. Open hit the corner for the three. Nobody noticed him. Catch me out in traffic. Keep it curry when I'm closing up. No one should be talking. Eyes on podium. No one should be talking. Keep your eyes on the podium. I go jump around and give all of my homies rollies. I'm a hot pick. Rolling with me. Gonna be low key. Let's believe it's more of us. But today I'm dolly. Grab me by the hand. Damn, she don't even know me. Open hit the corner for the three. Nobody knows. On a podium, I go jump around.